What is up, Job Squad? How you guys doing? Welcome back, Universe Mode Episode 64. We've got two more matches on the dinner plate for you. Rusev versus Baron Corbin for that United States Championship and Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt in a table match for the number one contendership. If you didn't check out the last episode, go back and watch it. Some fun stuff happened. Oh, by the way, guys, I totally forgot to put this in the last episode, but Hideo Itami did defeat Kalisto. He is still the cruiserweight champion. Dude can't be stopped. Hideo Itami can't be stopped. I swear to God, he's been cruiserweight champion since the beginning, right? Didn't I think Kalisto won it for a minute, or was it Neville? I swear, somebody won it for a minute, but okay, all right. Let's get into it. Rusev versus Baron Corbin. Ladies and gentlemen, are you are you ready? <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, are you? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go through it all. Here comes the Bulgarian brute, former United States champion. He lost it. Um, he lost it to uh, to to Baron Corbin. I don't know. I just had a brain fart or something. He lost it to Baron Corbin. He's gonna look to take it back here tonight against Baron Corbin. Just a straight up one on one slobber knocker. Two big guys going at it. U.S. title on the line. It's all about the the championship of the United States. We should bring back the European title. If the United States Championship is on a European dude, it should be the European Championship, right? And then if it's on, like, an, a, a guy from Asia, we'll make it an Asian title. I don't know. It's just an idea. Anyways, here we go. Let's get, Come on. Let's get through it. I know you guys like to watch the entrances, but, like, I mean, it's hard. For, what am I supposed to say? Should I just shut up during the entrance? I should probably just shut up during the entrance. But here he comes. <laughs> Baron Corbin. I like this entrance that he has. It's a really dope entrance. He's kind of moving slower than he usually moves in real life, but I like this one because when the when the music drops, right? Come on, here it comes. Is it coming or are we just gonna stand here? Oh, it's right here. Okay. The screen or like the thing behind him. Okay, I guess it doesn't do it anymore. But it used to go like red, like like blood would. You know what I'm saying? Like it would be blood, but I guess it doesn't do it in the game anyways whatever uh in the new one it's kind of like i don't know it's like black falls over like this ruined city or something like that which is still cool i think his entrance is dope it's really cool um but i like the old i like the red i think he i think he used to i might be even wrong it might it might not have even done that wwe rocks what a sign what a great sign you think wwe makes them put that in here that's probably just an idea i mean they gotta make you know so many signs right Rusev leaving the ring as Baron Corbin now Baron Corbin now enters the ring. You're a United States champion. Title looks small on him, dude. I didn't realize Baron Corbin was that big, but it looks small on him. Do you guys remember when Big Show held the United States title and that title was like tiny on him? I swear to God, they just got that man like a smaller title. They were like, Big Show's got the title. We're going to make it smaller. So that way it looks like he's huge. Which is kind of stupid, because then the rest of you guys look super tiny when they got, like, a, a huge... I mean, it might have been the same title. I don't know. I'm just saying, I think it was a fake title. Baron Corbin. Rusev. I'm playing as neither guy. So far, so good. So far, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm just kind of letting people go at it, right? I'm just kind of watching. You guys have... I've seen a few comments where people are like, man, you got to let them go. All right? I'm, I'm letting them go. Although, you are wrong. If you have commented on a video recently, and you have said... That every time I play, I win is uh, completely false. Completely false. I mean, just go back. I'll, f I mean, I'll find a video for you. It's happened recently. I, I swear to God, it was like episode 62. I lost and I was playing. All right, it happens. It happens. I think I brought this up in the last episode too, or the episode before that. Anyways, let's get into the match. I always end up rambling about whatever. Big kick. No, a big left hand. Have you guys noticed they use their left hands a lot? In this game, like, there's a lot more left-hand punches in this game than, than in real life. Like, Baron Corbin doesn't usually use his left hand. He just used it right there, though. But he doesn't usually use his left hand in real life, does he? Maybe I just don't notice. I don't know. I probably just don't notice. It probably happens. I, I It probably does happen. I just probably don't notice. No, oh, come on. Everybody's always using their right hand. Everybody's right-handed, right, in the WWE? That's a that's a that's a qualification that nobody even realized was a thing 
until just now that I'm bringing it up that you have to be right-handed to be in, in the WWE. Sorry, left-handers. Just ruined your dream. I'm totally kidding. I'm sure there's a left-handed person in the WWE. I bet Vince McMahon is left-handed. Probably left-handed Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon's a right-handed man. I swear to you. I swear to you. I swear Vince McMahon's right-handed. Do you know Vince McMahon doesn't like to sneeze? Fun fact. Those of you didn't know. Vince McMahon hates sneezing. I heard this from Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman was on Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast like two years ago, okay? Anyways, I listened to it. He said that Vince McMahon is such a control freak. He likes he's gotta control everything, right? That's why that's why everything in WWE has to go through him first. Right? Control freak, Vince McMahon. He doesn't like to sneeze because you can't control your sneezes. That dude hates sneezing because he can't control it. That's crazy. Vince McMahon is a lunatic. That dude's insane. I mean, Vince McMahon's an insane person, right? He probably sleeps like an hour a day. If that. I wonder if he even sleeps at all. One, two, and Baron Corbin still. No, okay. I wonder if he sleeps at all. Do you think Vince McMahon sleeps? Leave it in the comments section. I always say that. Nobody ever, nobody ever answers my questions. Nobody ever answers shit. He got the accolade locked in. No, he's got, he's got a little bit of a different move. He like was holding him by his cheeks or something. Not his ass cheeks, his face cheeks, but same thing, right? Same thing. Both their cheeks. Big uh thing there. I mean he kind of missed. Oh, he kicked him in the in the in the right foot. Baron Corbin grabs the left foot. Oh, I see. He was playing possum. He was he was pretending like he was selling it. And then Rusev was like, oh cool, I totally heard him. Let's grab him. And then Baron Corbin was like, nah, I was kid. One, two, and no, a kick out. By Rusev. Baron Corbin, he thinks he's got it in the bag. He thinks he's got it in the bag. I don't know, Baron. You may have won the first one decisively, but I don't know about this second one. So far, I've seen a lot of Baron Corbin offense. Ooh, big knee to the face. Baron Corbin, oh, up and over. Rusev now in control. I, I, I think Rusev's got this one. I got my pick is Rusev to win this. Oh, big kick there. That's my, that's why, right there. Big kick from Rusev. I think he's gonna win. This man's gonna win this thing. Big stomp to the arm, big stomp to the back. Here we go, accolade time. Accolade time, is he gonna tap? Is he gonna pass out? Is he gonna give up? I feel like his feet are close enough he could make it to the rope. He could make it to the rope. He's just kinda stretching out. He probably doesn't realize that his feet are that close though. He probably doesn't realize it. Oh, is he tapping? No, he gets out of it, drops him down, just like that. Baron Corbin still alive, but that had to have done plenty of damage. Down goes Rusev, pinfall here. One, two, and no! Rusev, with a big kick out there. Staying alive, he wants that US title back. The road to the World Championship, to the Universal Championship, is through the United States and Intercontinental Championships. Even though there is no Intercontinental Championship in our universe mode. Uh, maybe the tag team titles over on SmackDown. The tag team titles on Raw too, right? Everybody's got a. Everybody's big. Everybody's a big deal. Kofi Kingston's gonna be the next Universal Champion. Mark my words. Mark my words. I gotta keep drinking. I don't know what it is. I gotta keep drinking water though. I gotta get my mouth is. The more I talk, I mean it makes sense. The more you talk, the more air you're taking in. The drier your mouth gets. Here we go. Pinfall. One, two, and no. Rusev with a big kick out there. U.S. title on the line. Baron Corbin. I thought, oh my God. I thought he was going to do like a moonsault or something from the top rope. I was like, oh. The big man's pulling out the big moves for the big show, huh? Not the big show, but for the big show. Not like, whatever. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Setting him up for it. End of days. Here it goes. Drops him. Drives him into the mat. He's pretty close to the he's pretty close to the rope though. One, two, and no. Rusev kicks out. I think he's gonna he's gonna power out right here. Rusev's gonna power out right here. Right here. Nope. Next move. Smoke and drop from Baron Corbin. It's been Baron Corbin for a while now. Baron Corbin got out of that uh he got out of the accolade, and it's been just Baron Corbin from, from there on out. From there on out, just Baron Corbin. Oh, big chop to the neck. Drops him. 
Hits him in the in the shoulder. Goes for the kick. Misses it. Here we go. Boom. Big right hand to the back of the neck. Rusev now. Oh, here we go. Rusev's back in it. I swear to God, second accolade of the night, it's over. Rusev wins on the second accolade. If he can, if he can lock in a second accolade, it's over. New United States champion. If Baron Corbin can hit a second end of days, it's over. He retains the title. But I think it's going to be Rusev that wins it. I said it at the beginning. I'm saying it again now. Back body drop from Rusev. Down goes Baron Corbin. Kick to the to the knee. Rusev going up to the second rope. No. He's setting up for something. Or he's just stomping. Uh, he's just stomping. I thought he might be setting up for something. Nah. He wasn't setting up for nothing. Wasn't setting up for nothing. How about, how about it? I thought, he was, I thought for a second he was going for a sharp shooter. I was like, I didn't know he could even do that move. One count from root from the referee. I was gonna say Rusev, but then it didn't make sense the way I whatever the way I said it, it just didn't make sense. Here we go, up and down, Alabama Slammer, baby. Or the Nashville Slammer. I don't know. Whatever. Rusev lives in Nashville, I know that. Him and Lana. Him and the adorable Lana. I should put managers in this game. I, I never use managers. I never use managers. The game doesn't automatically put them in. For whatever reason, it just doesn't put them in automatically. Why doesn't it do that? It should just automatically do that. Never. In universe mode. Never does the computer just automatically do a, a one versus one with somebody having a manager. Here we go. Second end of days. He nails it. Baron Corbin's going to retain the championship right here. One, two, and three. Baron Corbin victorious here tonight. Beating Rusev. He retains the championship, not decisively. Baron Corbin, he, you know, he had to put, he had to put up a fight. Rusev put up a fight against Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin, however, overpowered that fight from Rusev. I thought Rusev was gonna win it when he put the accolade in, but he didn't. Baron Corbin, look at, he looks like he knows he was gonna win. Dude, don't pretend. Don't front. You didn't know. You didn't know. It's all cocky and shit, man. Shit, get out of here. Get out of here with that. Raising the title, guys, up next. Number one contendership action, table match. Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. Alrighty, guys, the tables are ringside. Daniel Bryan, his music has hit. He's making his way to the ring. Winner of this match. First man to go through a table loses, right? The other man's the winner. And that man becomes the number one contender for Shinsuke Nakamura's WWE Championship. Not really sure yet what we're gonna do about Cesaro. He still gets his rematch, especially seeing that the referee didn't count his pinfall. That was strange. That was weird. Why would that happen? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out on SmackDown. We're not gonna find out. Well, we're gonna put a referee out there to cut a promo? Hell no. Remember when Daniel Bryan got screwed out of the WWE title in a fast count? I do. I was there. Night of Champions, 2000 and what was that? 14, 13, 2013. I think it was. I think it was 13 because WrestleMania 30 would have been 14, and then 15 was 31, 16 was 32, 17 was 30. Yeah. Okay. So it would have been. Yeah. That makes sense because Night of Champions happened in October or September. Daniel Bryan, the Yes Movement, firmly behind Daniel. They're all going crazy. Bray Wyatt, man, I'm not. I can't do it. I was, I'm going to be honest. I can't do it. I can't do Bray Wyatt's entrance again. We watched his entrance like on that last episode of Smack. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. Big right hand, though. Starting out strong. What if he just threw him over the top rope, threw the table, game over? What is this, like a 30-second match, tops? Takes him down. No, Daniel Bryan with the bulldog. He reversed it into a bulldog. Big knee to the back of the something. Looked like the back. I thought he hit his head with his with his right knee, but it looked like he may have went back. Hits the senton right there off the second rope. Big kick to the midsection. Daniel Bryan going for a table early. I like it. Yeah, you, How do you win? You put your man through the table. You put your opponent through the table. What do you, how are you going to put your man through the table? You got you to gotta use the table. Daniel Bryan knows how to win. Slams him on the table. I don't know how bad that hurts, but I'm assuming probably not that bad. That hurt. That move right there. You hit him with a table, that hurts. Daniel Bryan understands what it takes to win. He's just got to put him through the table. So he's, he brings the table into the ring immediately. 
He's going to put him through the table as quickly as possible because he wants to be number one contender. He wants his WWE Championship back. Daniel Bryan knows how to win. Oh my God, I thought he just won right there. Breaks the leg on the table, possibly? Daniel Bryan, though, throws him into the corner. Bray Wyatt's in a bad spot right now, but he reverses that. Daniel Bryan reverses that, though, into a chin breaker. Suplex? No. Bray Wyatt rakes the eyes. No rules here. You can do that. That's not illegal. Russian leg sweep? No. Not through the table, though. Not through the table. Kick to the back. Bray Wyatt getting picked back up. Big kick here, and Bray Wyatt is in for a world of hurt as he's taking down these kicks. Daniel Bryan, kick after kick after kick. Big kick here. Nails him with it. Here we go. He uh, kicks the other leg in. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to wait for Bray Wyatt to get up. and then he's Oh, he hits him with the table. And down goes Bray Wyatt. He's going to pick the table. He's going to pick it back up. That's not what I meant to say. He's going to put the table back down. Got it set up again. This could be a quick match. If Bray Wyatt didn't do that, I, sw I swear to God, it was over. And there it is. Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan might have this in the bag right here. He might have this in the bag right here. He's going to go backbreaker. Hurt him a little bit more. Make him a little, bit more, a little more hurt. Hurt him up a little bit more. Just bruise him up. Bruise him up. Make sure he can't move. Here we go. DDT. Big DDT there from Daniel Bryan. Goes to the outside. Maybe a springboard. Springboard maneuver here. That's exactly what he's going to do. Springboard drop kick into the ring. Table still there. Still on the ready. Daniel Bryan firing up his yes movement. The WWE Universe firmly behind Daniel Bryan. They're rooting for him to win this, this match here. I almost said he's rooting for him to win the championship. No title on the line unless you consider the number one contendership a title. Oh! Had the table still been there, that would have been game over. That would have been game over. I, I I honestly expected this match to go a little bit faster than this. I expected it to be over by now. It's a table match. Right? Table matches are like two minutes long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Daniel Bryan, he's on the table. What's Bray Wyatt going to do here? Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay. Hurts the arm. Okay, hurts the arm again. Hurts the arm a third time. Hurts the arm a fourth time. Hurts the arm a fifth. No, okay. Picks him up. Oh, and that's it. That's it. Bray Wyatt wins. Bray Wyatt is the new number one. Just like that. You thought Daniel Bryan had it in the back. He just couldn't. He goes through the table right there. It was like an angle slam almost. Bray Wyatt. He's going to take on Shinsuke Nakamura. For the WWE Championship. That's going to that's gonna be good. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Didn't they feud like last time? Look, it did it again. It did this last episode too. It gave me Baron Court. Whatever. Don't care. Gave me the last match, but I don't care. I don't care anymore. All right, guys. That does it for episode, what, 64 of Universe Mode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. This has been your boy Intel. Bye.